Hey everybody, it's Uncle Fester again. Um, so this is just a really quick update to uh, my current Street Fighter V modding tutorial. This involves um, Street Fighter V normal maps and um, baking from a multi-res texture, which I discussed in the previous video. So really quick, while baking several maps, I noticed that um, the channels for the red and green were flipped or inverted, um, specifically the green channel. Um, now I didn't notice it before, for because for some reason Photoshop was flipping it back when I was looking at them. But the green channel is inverted on both the DDS and TGA normal maps that U model extracts. Now there are a few ways to correct this, and they're all pretty easy. So if you do have Photoshop, the easiest way to do it is just open up your TGA in Photoshop, go to Channels, select only the green channel. Let me zoom in so you can see. You see, this looks normal, right? That looks normal, but it's actually not. Sometimes when I'm looking at it, it'll, you'll, I'll actually see the inverted portion. I don't know why... Photoshop shows it sometimes and sometimes it doesn't, um, but the channels are inverted. Um, so you just select the green channel, hold the control key, and press the letter I for inverted. This is the way the normal map should look. So all you got to do is save it. Because you can see here the red channel is still normal, and now the green channel is correct. This is how the green channel was before. You see now, you can see that it's indented here. And if I come here, now it's indented. And you see all this extruding? This is how the normal map is extracted through U-Model. For some reason, see, now it looks normal. Photoshop is compensating for it for so somehow in the view. But once you save this, it still saves inverted, which is why we have to control I on the green channel and you're good to go. Another method to fix this in Photoshop, if you're going to be editing your um, normal map, let's say you're going to use Quixel Suite, which I use f for manipulating normals. There's two ways you can do it in Quixel. One is through Endo, which is this little purple thing right here. Just click on Endo. Um, okay, and then you click on this little page right here. It looks like a sheet of paper. You go to Preferences, Flip Normal Channels, and you select the channels you want flipped. Flip X for Y. So the way that this works is red is X, green is Y, and blue is Z on the channels. So you would just preferences, flip normal channels, and you f you could flip both actually. It doesn't matter. I'll show you now what the red channel looks like flipped. Um, this is actually probably the correct way it would look. It should look. Um, but I don't... S yeah. So here it's just a it's just the the direction in which the light is refracting off of it. Um I th I personally think that 
this is the right way, which is the, the way that the red channel is already in there. I think what's happening is you model is, for some reason, even though the, the game is Unreal Engine 4.7, you model is reading these textures as if it was still under UDK, which is a uh, Unreal Development Kit. And from my understanding, in UDK, the green channel was flipped on all the normal maps created in UDK. For specifically because it was for Unreal. Um, I may be wrong about that, but, uh, but I'm fairly certain that I'm correct. Anyways, that's one way. The other way is through here by doing flip the channels. It'll flip them automatically. And then a third way would be through DDo. When you're loading your normal map, it has a little thing next to normal map that allows you to check off flip X and Y. That automatically gets checked if you select um, UDK as your working project. So I'll show you what I mean right now. So first let's we can just close this. No saving. Alright. So in here as you can see I have UE4 RMA pack selected automatically this is flip Y channel. Right, Y would be green, and then if you do, I think it's UDK, yeah, the other it's the same thing. Flip Y channel, and then UE4. The what? There's no flipping of the Y channel because it's that's how it's supposed to be, which is the normal way. So UDK and UE4 using RMA patched or packed. Sorry. Um, has the green channel inverted so then in DDo you just left click in here it'll automatically be selected it should but if it's not you left click in there for a flip Y and then when you add your normal map it'll automatically invert the channel for you so that it's displayed correctly and you're editing your normal map correctly alright so that takes care of that portion and now let's get into really quick um, baking from multi-res which I got into on my previous um, my previous tutorial but there I've been playing around with the settings in here for some reason there's no re there's no real good forum with um, a good tutorial as far as what the settings in blender are for as far as baking with from a multi-res um, mesh so it's pretty much been trial and error for me. I did find one YouTube video, but it was just saying that you should set it to a viewpoint of one f in order for the bake to work. But it was baking in the same manner that I was yesterday, and that is it's unreliable. It does not always work. I found a way that works consistently. So f first, let's just object. I'm going to show you that now. So we're going to go ahead and open this up. Edit mode. UV image editor. All right, now I'm going to go to the materials list first. Here's my skin, the material skin. It, it really doesn't matter what materials it does if you're sharing in this game we're going to be sharing the, norm, the same normal map across all the materials basically if you're using different normal maps for different materials then you're going to have to do the same thing for each normal map that you add so here we go to the texture and I'm going to pick this normal map um, which is his normal I'm going to open or add the normal map I want to use this just this one is that's not a normal no 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 Sorry about that. Um, so let's go with yeah, that'll work. That's good enough.
Oh, that's not... Sorry guys. I, th I went I went through I went too quick through this. So let me let me go back. Let's delete this. And add a normal. So we're gonna pick his fucking normal map. Okay. Okay. So now in here I do select interpoliation. Uh, normally, this would be to like inject uh, an alpha channel into a map that doesn't have one, or to inject or add other channels into a map. Um, so normally, I I, I don't see a re I wouldn't see a reason to use this, but the way that Blender is using interpoliation actually helps us with baking. So everything else is fine go back over here to world space to I mean the render the render pane bake from multi res this doesn't matter you don't you all, all you need to do here is just select the normal map that you selected in in here for the materials as long as you select that same normal map this technique will work you don't even have to select this character your your mesh just click bake and it bakes it every single time I'm going to show you now that I have my preview at zero let's wait for this to finish okay so here's my modifier preview zero even the render zero the only thing that's at five is scope I can make a put the render up to five and I'm gonna bake it again just to show you guys that this is consistent it doesn't you don't need to worry about clear I, I pushed the margin to 64 I prefer it I think it brings out just a little bit more detail although it grabs some good stuff here and here Okay, and we're going to do this again, just to... Just to really quick show that it's consistent. Oh, another way to, um, while this is loading up, another way to flip your green channel in your normal map. If you're not going to do any editing to the normal map itself and you don't have access to Photoshop, all you have access to is Unreal, en Unreal Engine because it's free. Simply, once you load the texture into Unreal Engine, double click on the normal map to bring up the map viewer. Make sure that the details pane is open. If not, click on Window and then click on details here so it will show the details pane okay now in here where you're setting up you know your texture group there's a check mark here for flip green channel so I'm going to show you what it looks like now see it automatically flips it and then it will export into the U asset file with the green channel flipped so it'll save it for you automatically and so that's uh, another way to f flip that green channel for your normal maps. All right, so let's we do another bake really quick.
normal. And it, it, this will work with any texture you put here for your normal map. And you select that same texture in the baking, in the render pane. It will bake on top of whatever texture you select here. So you could do the same thing if you were baking out textures or masks, what have you. This this is I'm just doing it for the normal map because that's the only map that I bake inside Blender. I do everything else outside of Blender. Um, and I only bake a portion of the map. Anyway. Anyways, so we're gonna go ahead and add this. Pick it here. Okay, again. We are going to bake multi res. Oh, it looks like I have a visitor. Oh, they're going to have to wait. And there you can see. Bake in the map. Alright guys, well I hope that this was um, helpful. And I'll see you in the next video where I'm going to show you how I edited my textures in Photoshop and Quixel Suite. And um, how to combine normal maps and stuff like that. Alright, so see you soon. Enjoy, enjoy the rest of your day.